You may have first learned symmetry back in kindergarten when you learned that a butterfly is like an example of symmetry. So is this any different? Not really. Well, actually, it's a little different. Let me explain. So basically, in algebra, graphs can have two types of symmetry. There's line symmetry and point symmetry. When you think about a butterfly having symmetry, that's called line symmetry. A butterfly has line symmetry because you can draw a line through it, and it is the same whenever you reflect across it. So like a butterfly is like a mirror image of itself across the line. Point symmetry is a little bit different. You can think of point symmetry as being like a snake. If you were to draw a line through this, no, no, this is not a mirror image of itself, so it does not have line symmetry. But it does have point symmetry, because if you put a little dot right in the middle of it, and you rotate everything 180 degrees, you basically just flip it upside down, it would look exactly the same. So let's look at this graph here. Does this graph have any kind of symmetry? Well, let's look at line symmetry first. Can you draw a line somewhere in this graph that will make it a mirror image? In this case, we can actually draw a line right through here. Because now, everything on this side is a mirror image on this side. This is a mirror image of this. This is a mirror image of this. It works all the way around. Does it have point symmetry? Well, let's try putting a point here and see if it works. This part of the graph right here, if we rotate it 180 degrees, it would probably look something like this. This does not line up with this part of the graph. So no, this does not have point symmetry. But it does have line symmetry, and in a lot of cases, if you see that it does have symmetry, your homework or whatever is probably going to ask you to write the equation of the line. So how do we find the equation of this red line? Well, if it's a straight up and down line or a straight left and right line, it's probably just going to be x equals or y equals. And I can see that at this line right here, this is where x is always 0, because here's x equals 0, right? x is left and right x is always 0 right in the center on this line. So in this case, our equation for the line is going to be x equals 0. So there we go. We've figured out that this graph has line symmetry at x equals 0, but it does not have point symmetry. What about this graph? Can we figure out if this has line symmetry and point symmetry? Well, let's see if it has line symmetry. Is there anywhere that we can draw a line that will be a mirror image of both sides of the graph? Well, if I draw a line right here, then no, this is not a mirror image, right? This does not reflect over here. But maybe you're thinking we could draw a line like maybe right here, and then this would be line symmetry. Well, if you just like tilt your head a little bit, or you know, if I just use the magic of editing, we can see that this is not a mirror image of this because it's dipping upward this way, but downward this way. So no, this graph does not have line symmetry. But does it have point symmetry? Well, let's go ahead and draw a point right here in the middle of our graph and see if it does. If we take this part of the graph here and we rotate it 180 degrees, it's going to go right here, which is exactly on this line. So yes, this does have point symmetry. But now we have to figure out the point that the point symmetry is at. Well, this is a little easier, hopefully. Here's the point here. We need to figure out the coordinates of this point. But in this case, this point is actually right in the middle of the graph. It has not moved from the middle. So it's gone zero left and right and zero up and down. The middle of the graph is always zero, zero. So we can say that this graph has point symmetry at zero, zero. All right, here's another example. What I'd like you to do is go ahead and pause the video, see if you could figure out what kind of symmetry this has, if any, and then unpause and see how you did. All right, first of all, does this have line symmetry? Remember, line symmetry is like the mirror image symmetry that a butterfly has. So it looks like there's nowhere that we can draw an up and down line to get a mirror image. However, we can also draw other kinds of lines. We can draw a horizontal line, and it looks like we can draw it right here. Here, we have a mirror image. So this is a mirror image of this. This is a mirror image of this. This line acts as a mirror, so this is the line where there is line symmetry. But what is the equation of this line? Well, remember that it, the letters are usually the opposite of what you might think. So we have a left and right line here, but because x means left and right, the equation is actually going to have y in it. And that's because on this line, we have all sorts of x amounts, like here it's a negative 5, here it's 2. But everything on this line has the same up and down value. And that up and down value is negative 1, because we have to go down 1 to get to this line. 
So our equation of this line is y equals negative 1. Now, does this have point symmetry? Well, let's go ahead and put our point right here. And we'll take this part of the graph. And if we rotate it 180 degrees, we get this. Does not line up with this line at all. So in this case, no, we do not have point symmetry. So our final answer is that we have line symmetry at y equals negative 1. All right, here's another example. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you can figure this one out, and then unpause and see how you did. All right, so we need to determine first if this has line symmetry. Is there a place that we can draw a line and have a mirror image? Well, it seems like the most probable place we can do it is right here. So is this a mirror image? Well, yeah, here, this is a mirror image of this. Here, this looks like a mirror image of this. But look down here. Down here, this actually extends farther than this other part. So this is not a mirror image. And it has to be a mirror image all the way. So in this case, no, this does not have line symmetry. And this probably looks like it's also not going to have point symmetry, but let's test it out. We can put a point here in the middle or just, you know, somewhere that seems like the most probable to have point symmetry, right? And this part here, if we were to rotate it, then it would look like this. See, because we have this and it continues on and goes down. This has nothing to do with this part of the graph. So this does not have either kind of symmetry. So that's our final answer, that this does not have any kind of symmetry. So there you go. And you will now never see a butterfly again without being reminded of your algebra class. But symmetry isn't the only thing that you'll have to find with a graph. You'll also have to find its end behavior. If you want to learn how to find that part of a graph, then you can watch this video right here. And as always, if you're confused about anything in this video and you have any questions, just go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.